welcome back to the channel everybody so uh we've got ourselves what is supposed to be a quick one the uh driver on scene we got a budget rental truck that's uh stuck over at a hotel in oak grove um it's about 10 o'clock at night i'm fixing to head that way uh the driver said when you get here you're gonna be like oh my gosh this is so simple um so maybe it is maybe he jinxed it I don't know. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in route and um, go get this thing knocked out. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the video and uh, hit subscribe for us. Uh, we're pulling up here and I've been here before. <laughs> I've had to pull a couple semis out of this same predicament that this fella's in. Yeah, he's framed out pretty good. Now, before we get too excited about what we're gonna do, let's take a gander, see what's going on. You're not the first one I've pulled out of this exact same spot. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I've pulled a couple semis out of right here before. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was told this road goes all the way around. It does not. No. If you can keep going that way, you're going to run right into some billboards and some mud. And that's about it. It uh -huh. does not go all the way around. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. I pulled some semis out of back there. Ooh. Actually, what I normally get back there... The actual... Yeah, your drive shaft's drive on the ground. Down. What I normally get out of back there is uh, tour buses. <laughs> Yeah, they go they down there. Place There's a little substation back there that they always think they can Austin Powers their way through and they always get stuck. Yeah, that's a... Uh... And I can't just boom over and grab your back because the power lines. Oh! Well, at least we're on the ground there. Alright, so I can throw some cribbing down and that'll start climbing right up. Let me grab some photos here. I tried stopping before I did very much damage to it. You know what, at least you stopped. There's a lot of people that wouldn't. Oh, let's see. Yeah, the drive shaft is. Okay. It, it bent that carrier yeah. bearing. Yes, it did. Kind of bitch. Are you guys loaded? Yes. Full? Uh, hit, we got about 10,000, 15,000 pounds. Okay. okay. We might get lucky that's got rubber in there and it might just be the pressure of you leaning on it when I get it out. When I, what, I, what, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to tail wrap the back of the box. That way I can put some lift back there and then push you guys forward but have you turn the wheel this way. Well, I'll probably end up having you turn that way and you'll just have to back out. Because um, you're already facing that way so it makes more sense for you to just go that way. But yeah, I should be able to get some. Yeah. 
Because in reality, if I get you up three feet, you're gonna be, uh -huh. you should be able to pull, pull it up and out. But yeah, okay. I just gotta watch some power lines because we're pretty close to them. Oh. Boy, this is snake paradise back here. Let me do a little frame wrap right there. Bring a chain out. It's got a nice good back rear end right here. Throw a chain to a strap around the corner. That should get him up and out of there. Yeah. All right. What's your max lifting weight with this thing? Huh? What's your max lifting weight with this? 100,000. Wow. Now, to really lift that, it's almost impossible. You'll never have a 100,000 pound load that close to the truck well, yeah, to be able to lift it up. But um, most commonly anywhere from 20 to 40 to 50,000 is what we lift with it, the, the most common. To be honest, most lifts I do with it are less than 10,000 pounds. It's more of a convenience factor than anything. It makes it easier, huh? Yeah. Jobs like this, it makes it a lot easier because I can get a little lift on your back end versus like a regular wrecker. I would just have to hook to the front and hope we don't tear that up. I mean, I do a lot of cars. <laughs> cars behind guardrails and things like that. It's faster to get this out there and lift it up and put it on the rollback than try to winch it all the way out around the guardrail. Ooh. It's about fell. ramp is right there. Man, I always forget about that. <clears throat> Not overly ideal, but it'll get the job done. Do what? Oh yeah, I can run it from, you know, roughly 300 feet away. Oh yeah. We have a show, um, great blind or something like that of Alaska. A Highway Through Hell? Uh-huh. Yeah. I have a hard time watching that show. <laughs> it is. Very dramatized. Yeah. And those guys, sometimes it makes you wonder how they got a job towing, because <laughs> tell you that ain't it. All right, am I on? Blue.
I'm gonna try, go ahead and start it up, sit in it and uh, don't release the brakes, but turn the wheel to the right. I'm gonna try and do it without releasing the brakes. That way we don't have to turn the drive shaft. Go ahead and start it. You ready? You guys didn't like that handle, did you? <laughs> All right, go ahead and release the brakes. Yeah, he did. Put it in gear. Easy. All right, hold up, stop right there. That is a big hole that that is in. Real gentle. Set the brakes. You got the brakes set? Nope. Set them. Break it up. All right. Well, you're back on solid ground. Did that straighten back out? Uh, rubber bushing's a little messed up in there. We 
got her out though. That's a big, big drop off. I don't know if the camera's gonna show that, but that's a big hole to be down in. But, sweet. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> It'll buff. Yeah. Yeah, I might have squished it. If that's the worst of the deal, we came out good. Oh. It tried to get sketchy there for a second. Tail wraps always make me nervous because it's like they do exactly what you want them to, they just don't show it. Like, it had support on the passenger side of the trailer. It just didn't show that there was support there. That was a box, I meant. It was still leaning pretty hard, but I was watching the tires. And, uh, all the tires were still on the ground. Which is exactly what you want it to do. is uh maintain enough pressure to keep all the tires on the ground so now just one of those things where it just looked good just makes you think twice that's why i stopped in the middle For the most part, my remote works all the time now. Every once in a while it freezes up, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. I can tolerate this. Blinded by the light. There's a cakewalk for the main event. Oop, three degrees, we need a little bit higher. We need to be around five. I think we can kill these swivel lights. All they're doing is blinding me now. And the rest of my winches, suck them up. Pick up my underlift real quick. Favorite part of the underlift, or the winch remote, or the, the stinking remote, my goodness, is that I can work the outriggers from it. <laughs> so I do something like that and only hit front driver and not front. Yes, sir. 
Would you happen to have a rubber mallet on you and a metal bar by this long? I don't have a rubber mallet, but I got a 10 pound hammer. He's under the truck trying to do something. I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's... Straighten out that uh, carrier bearing, probably. Is he good to help with that? I can see what I can do. We'd appreciate it. They're usually under quite a bit of tension, so once they get bent like that, they're kind of SOL, but okay. we can uh, we can see what we can do real quick. We appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Make sure rear's all the way up. Make sure front's all the way up. Yeah. My remote switch back. This battery's almost dead. I got a big lift coming tomorrow. Biggest lift I've done with the rotator yet. By the time you guys see that one, you should have already seen this video. And the battery swapped out so I can have two full ones for that tomorrow. That kit that's in that groove down there? Uh-huh. That came up. Ah. Uh, typical. You want like a flat head and a hammer? See if you can tap it back? Yes, Would you want a flat bed, a flat head or a pry bar? Um I got a short little pry bar like that. Or this flat head. That's an extension, that's not a punch. I use that for drive lines. Um, is that what you're looking for? Is a punch? Yes. Uh, I don't have a punch, but I got an array of screwdrivers that you can hit the back of. I won't be nah, mad. No, 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 I'll take it. All right. <laughs> so we had a uh, nasty storm come through last weekend, and uh, I don't know if this will come out first or the rollover. But we had a tornado come through and take out a bunch of power lines and trees. Uh, EF2 is the one that came through close to us. And uh, I just finally got power back tonight about 20 minutes ago before I got this call and I couldn't even sit at home and enjoy it. Oh, that was way too high. What am I thinking? But uh, yeah, so I was at home and fixing to go to bed. Then this call came in, and I was like, man, I don't even get it. I've been staying in my house all week. No air conditioning. Well, I plugged in a window unit, but to a generator. Oh, didn't nail that one. But, uh, yeah, I was staying in my house, sleeping on an air mattress in the room that has a window unit. And, uh, Not sleeping worth a dang. <laughs> I get all excited because the power come on about two hours ago, and I got I wasn't home when it came back on. Then I got home and it went back out. And then I was mad because I just got the generator unhooked. But I was lucky. I got to save all my food. I think I only had to throw out a couple things of sausage that were on the top of the deep freeze. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's uh, gonna be the finale of this winch out. But anyway, we had a rollover come out of that tornado. So you guys might see that before you see this. Depends on what order Ethan throws videos out. I think we just had a pretty major wreck, so he may wait on that video. <coughs> Who knows? But uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Oh, look, here comes Shane. Dandy Shane. Driving a Peterbilt again. He thought he was going to get himself into a Kenworth, but he couldn't. He's coming back from Evansville right now. Look at that turd. <laughs> Too slow. Fun part's already done. You just now getting back? You can't park here. Well, I can, he can't. <laughs>
I was about to cut the video off and I saw you at the stoplight and I was like, oh, here comes Shane. <laughs> Too slow, the fun part's already done. Yeah. He, uh, did, he did the usual and tried to back into that ditch. How many trucks have we pulled out of that ditch? Well, I mean, luckily this one's a box truck, but when they go around the corner yeah. with a, a semi. That's what I was yeah. telling them. Either with a semi or with a uh, um, coach bus. I pulled a couple of them out of back there by that substation. I seen KFB out there. What are they doing? Well, they had a uh, vehicle on the side, and I seen yellow lights. I was like, is this ours? Like trying to get tow books to open up. Well, keys, fuck off. <laughs> They bent the carrier bearing a little bit, so they're trying to bend it back. Oh. I just ran a chain from the lower frame rail on this side, up and around the back of the box, lifted the rear end and swung him over into the road. Yeah. It got a little sketchy there for a minute. He was leaning real hard, but that strap was doing enough. All the tires were on the ground, but it was, I mean, it was like leaning and I was like starting to get a little nervous. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, every time I'd st like, I stop expecting to see daylight under the tires, and they're still firmly on the ground. Was, I'm gonna keep going. So. Yeah, that guy. I went to go get. It. He's the same one I towed there last time from <laughs> uh, uh, Morgan's Gap. Yeah. Pilot. Did you get it? Not all the way. Uh, Maybe drive it a little bit and see if it'll. If you got it a little ways, it may bounce and kick itself into place. Yeah, that bounce out. <laughs> yeah, one or two. It sucks when they come apart right there. They do a lot of damage. Yeah. But no, we're good. Oh, I gotta grab some truck info. I gotta grab some license plate and stuff off your truck real quick. Okay. Yeah, he went through season. Like, hey! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's uh he's like, you take the river? I was like, yeah man, we can take anything. I showed him a picture of you taking the tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Nine two six one six. Oh, plate must be on the back. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. There it is. Oklahoma. All right, now I'm out of here. Thank you. You guys be safe. You too. Pull up and back all the way back down. <laughs> Turn around right here, right? 100%. <laughs> yeah. I'm paid hourly. Go ahead. I'll do it twice. First time was just for practice. <laughs> go ahead. All right, put it back. It's Shane's turn. <laughs> I'm going home and go to bed. Me too. I'm going to go enjoy my power. Oh, you finally got power? Yeah, I finally got power like an hour. Like 20 minutes before this call came in. And then it, it, they turned it on. And then like 10 minutes after I get home, it, it goes out again. I'm like, are you kidding me? Now every light that flickers in my house, I'm like, you better not. <laughs> not today. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.